okay there. Um, so I was showing off our table we made. Luke and Mr. Karagosian made this table. It's in the garage, so it's very hard for you to see, but it has legs and it's gonna be a game table for outside. And then we used blue tape and we taped it all off in cool designs. And then it took us about three days because all the paint had to dry. And um, Mrs. Karagosian did all the teal painting and the purple painting. Everybody had their colors and we painted and then we pulled the tape off and now we have a fun game table for outside. It looks like a big puzzle table, right? So everyone has brought it to my attention that somehow um, Mrs. Karagosian forgot chapter 88. Not sure how that happened. But here you go. The final farewell. Everyone, I would, so 87 left, um, Dr. Malova was in the airship and she was watching Brightville and Roz at the island. And she said, you know, everything was the way that it should be. Chapter 88 is the final farewell. Maybe it just sounded sad to Mrs. Karagosian, so I skipped it. Maybe that's why I didn't do it, who knows. Everyone, I would like you to meet the woman who designed me. Roz walked over to the strange creature standing by the ship's doorway. For most of the island animals, this was their first time seeing a human. They squinted and sniffed and whispered to each other trying to understand how such a frail old woman could create such a big, strong robot. Dr. Malovo started speaking softly to Roz, and then Roz started speaking loudly to the crowd of animals. My designer has asked me to translate her words for you, said the robot. The following words are not mine, they are hers. The crowd settled down and listened. Thank you, island animals, for saving Roz. Without your help, she would have died here long ago. But you were not only her rescuers, you were also her teachers. You taught her to be wild and she needed all of her wilderness to survive, both in your world and in mine. As I look around at this wild paradise, I finally understand why Roz tried so hard to get back here. She does not belong with robots and humans. She belongs here on this island with all of you. We cannot risk others learning about this place. That is why I will soon leave and never return. But I promise to keep your island a secret so that all of you can live in peace and I will spend the rest of my days filled with wonder at the miracle that is our wild robot. The meadow fell silent. A flurry of wing beats and Brightbill landed in the grass near Dr. Malovo. He gazed up at the woman deep into her eyes and then he bowed his head. The other geese in his flock bowed their heads. Crown Point the buck bowed his head. Pink Tail the opossum bowed. Mr. and Mrs. Beaver bowed. The lizards bowed followed by the turtles and the frogs. Like a wave rolling through the crowd, more animals bowed until every head was lowered. They were showing respect for the woman who had created their dear friend Roz and who had brought her back to them. Dr. Malovo turned to Roz. Do you understand why I can't return? She said, it's for your own good. I understand, said the robot. I only wish we had gotten to know each other a little better. Dr. Malovo smiled and pulled Roz into a hug. She didn't mind the robot's coat of mud and grass. Wrapped in each other's arms, they both felt something like love. You're the wild robot, said the woman. Go be wild. How did Mrs. Karagosian forget that chapter? That was full of warm fuzzies. Full of warm fuzzies. Um, no, you're good. So Mr. Seth just came out. Um, hey, you guys are doing much better at checking into Google Classroom. Check in a couple times a day. I'll have fun questions up there for you. Tell me a joke. It's not for schoolwork. You get your packets for that. Mrs. Karagosian's on Google Classroom for you guys to connect with each other. You can't go outside and play. You might as well tell each other jokes on Google Classroom. All right. Love you guys. Miss you. Bye.